So I'm just going to talk you through how we sort of plan Science Week and how it's executed in our school. We've been doing it the same way for a number of years, so it's sort of like a typical Science Week, you know, at Cressex. Um, so once the theme has been released, we will have a look at the wonderful activity packs that are provided by the BSA and we will select from the packs a few of the activities that we think will engage our students and be suitable for a range of different abilities. We'll also sit down as a department and brainstorm some other ideas that can link to the theme, some ideas that we've used in previous years or uh, new ideas that, that we can link to the, the theme that's been released. Um, generally, we have two types of activities that we plan for. We plan for lessons which have clear objectives and need to meet the students, the needs of all the students in the classroom. And then we have some after school activities which are generally shorter, easier to access or fun activities as well. So, um, oh, you can see the activities we selected for this year are, you know, in that brainstorm on the slide. Uh, so once we've selected the activities, we then start to sort of promote Science Week. We want to maximise participation with our students, so we do advertise it quite heavily. We start off with the week before Science Week, we um, do deliver Science Week assemblies. So this will introduce the theme, inform the students about what activities will be going on and how they can join in. In the past, we've had sort of like a bit of a show, some demos to sort of engage students, but COVID has sort of put these on hold, so we've not been able to do those for the last couple of years. Hopefully, they'll be up and running again next year. We then provide that information to the form tutors so that they can, can remind the students each day what's available to them. We then put posters around the school, just reminding them the activities, when and where they are. And we have developed in the past some lovely um, corridor displays that we have in the science corridor. This uh, introduces a theme to the students and also can give them some possible ideas to participate in the poster competition. There's a couple of examples from previous years, our diverse planet and, and um, journeys there. During the week itself, we try and offer students with as many opportunities to engage as possible. Um, we have a quiz that is done in tutor groups. So these are 20 questions uh, relating to the theme. Try to be linked to the curriculum as well. So it's not just random science knowledge that some students might have linked into the curriculum. Um, we display a league table in the corridor so they know which tutor group has performed well, they have a certificate to go into their classroom as well. Um, we promote the poster competition heavily throughout the school. So we have posters up advertising that. We put the information on Show My Homework, form tutors and science teachers all share that information with them. And you can see the display there that we've created using the posters from the theme this year, the growth theme. We had some beautiful uh, pieces of work that, that now can inspire students for next year. And with all of these, if students actively participate, they are awarded with achievement points as well um, for, for joining in. So then the activities that we run during Science Week. So during two of their science lessons during Science Week, all students will take part in a lesson linked, albeit fairly loosely in some cases, to the Science Week theme. So this means that every single student in our school has engaged with at least something relating to Science Week. So our lessons are generally an hour long um, and they will be, uh, there will be a practical element to them. Um, they will have objectives and we will link them to STEM careers wherever possible. And they are delivered in a formal way like a normal lesson where we have objectives they are linked to the curriculum then we have after school activities which are optional they run for three days we have have year seven on one day year eight on one day and then key stage four on the third day so these are generally short fun practicals that students wouldn't normally be exposed to in the curriculum 
So things such as methane bubbles, imploding cans, making key rings, lava lamps, slimes. Um, so we open up four or five different labs. The students are able to freely move between the labs and take part in the activities. These last about an hour. Um, and it's, you know, it's three days after school. So in order for this to work, we, we do rely heavily on staff with goodwill, which we tend to get. Um, the primary goal of these activities is just to engage students, have a bit of fun and build some positive relationships with staff. Much easier to, to sort of build those relationships outside of a lesson environment. At the end of each activity, we remind the students to complete the um, British Science Association survey, which will plot and show my homework. And this way, by the end of the week, every single student has taken part in some form of Science Week.